Hello everyone. I am back for another video today. Um, it's November, I think it's November 26th. We had Thanksgiving last week and um, that went great with my family. We, um, not all of us get together, but a lot of us do. And uh, it's easy for me because all I have to do is go across the street. <laughs> I don't have to bake a big turkey or anything. Although I did the week before for here at the house just so we'd have all the leftovers because you know the the leftovers are the best part right all the dressing and stuffing and all fattening stuff anyway so um so i've been so i have a show coming up next i guess next week so i've been trying to i haven't been making a lot at my house because there's most of you know i've been busy renovating the bathroom but that is that is done except for the plumber coming in so I have, to, I have to, I have to upload a picture or something or walk in there one of these days. But anyway, so, um, um, so yeah, so I've been, so I've been, haven't made a lot of pottery here. So I've been making pottery where I work, um, at Denham Recreation Center. And, um, so I had to bring home a bunch of bowls to glaze here because I didn't have time there because we were off for the holiday weekend. Anyway, so. Today I'm doing just some, you have to see the kiln opening because I didn't show obviously all the bowls that I've glazed, um, but I've done some different things this time. I thought it's not, it's not very much fun to see someone, you know, slap on a glaze that's gray and brown because the regular glazes, you know, they, um, yeah, I'm looking at all my glazes here. I got so many, so many weird, you know. The regular glazes, Laguna and Amico and Western and all that. It's not that much fun to just see people glaze a, a gray pot and a blue pot when it's going to turn out red. And so anyway, but I've got some weird color combinations <laughs> that I thought, oh, what the heck, you know? I thought I'd give it a try. So uh, let's see. So if tomorrow's Sunday, so I'll get the um, get these loaded in the kiln tomorrow morning. And Sunday, Monday, probably Tuesday, Tuesday, I'll unload the kiln. I'll do another video so you can see how these turn out. But the bowl I wanted to do today is I kind of did one something similar to it. So it's just kind of, you know, plain in the center, but it's kind of like a doodle bowl, but it's really just a fin like a fingerprint bowl. And these colors will be much brighter, um, when it's fired. This does not have a clear glaze on it yet. So I'm going to put a clear glaze on it. Um, I'm just waiting until this one's done. Then I'll slap on a clear glaze. Again, so um, I'm using Amico Velvet Under Glazes. Um, I have a few Speedball, but for the most part, I prefer the Amico Velvet Under Glazes. Um, I, I like to paint on Bisqueware. This is Cone five. Um, this is B mix five with grog. And so I, I prefer to paint on bisqueware. Um, so anyway, so let me lower you down and I hope everybody's doing well and uh, everybody had a nice holiday. If you celebrate the holiday, let's see if this stays down here. This is another new, new stand I bought. Let me see if I can't and watch the phone fall out. You guys know I'm famous for that, right? <laughs> I purposely moved my glaze tray over here in case the phone fell out of the holder. But in order for me to um, put the phone in this holder, this new one, I had to take the cover off completely. So I don't know. But anyway, so this is just finger painting. And I, 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 I did this a while back. Oh, I gotta show you something funny. So my intention wasn't to um, put any black liner on here, but you guys know how I love to put black liner. So I had to put a few. So I have like just one there and these will become this little fishy. And there's a heart and there's a sun. I think there's one more heart. Um, Oh, there's a little flower. Looks more like an amoeba, doesn't it? But anyway, I um, 
I had a hard time not putting some black liner on it. So I went ahead and thought, what the heck? I put a little bit of black liner on it, right? So I hope you can hear me because since I, since I do this on my phone, um, the uh, speaker's a little further away from me and I've had a cold, so my head's a little stuffed up. So hopefully you can hear me okay. But um, so anyway, so this is just like a finger painting bowl. And yeah, and I I usually use my my Zyam applicator bottle. This is my favorite, but I did a very 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 bad thing. I got distracted and left it sitting upright, and the nozzle, the number twenty nozzle, is clogged. So, um, I've got it sitting in water, and I'm hoping the water gets in there enough to dissolve what's ever in there because I cannot get it out. And I have a new one on order because those are just my favorite, and I've used, jeez, I've got five other different kinds. So I've been using this, um, and it works fine, but I really don't like this bottle. It's really hard to push, and when you're trying to write, um, it, gets, it seems to get clogged really easy, and you really have to press hard, and it's, I don't know, for me, it's, you can see the writing on here isn't, I don't know, it's not the best. Um, and of course, the words are backwards because I use my phone. But anyway, um, it's really hard, I think, to get a good consistency, um, to get a nice smooth line and to write with, I find it very, a little more difficult with this one because the bottle just so hard and it's, you know, it's soft here. It's a little bit harder here and I don't know. Yeah. So always store your Zyam applicator bottle upside down so that the tip does not dry out. Okay. So this design actually is based off a watercolor I saw. Um, and it was just, I guess it was a finger painting watercolor because um, it looked like somebody had done fingerprints, but I don't, I don't really know. And so I'm just dipping my fingers in here. That one, that bowl next to me that I just showed you I can't tell you how many times I went over that. You know, it's, this is so much fun to do. It's hard to know when to stop. And it's just, it's just so easy. But, you know, think about the color palette you want. Like you could do all different shades of blue or all different shades of purple. Um, I kind of like um, this gradient scale of all the different colors. I just see I splashed some here, which I'm not sure. I'm going to try to wipe it off. I really don't want that. Usually I say just go with the flow, but I have a certain look in mind, and I really don't want to go all the way up to the lip with this one. I want to stop a little shy of it. So let's see, let's go around and try to get these purples on here. This is, um, I think this is deep purple. This lighter purple is the violet. <coughs> I think some of my stuffed up head is probably from cleaning. I've been cleaning all day. Like I said, since the bathroom's done, I've been, oh my gosh, I've been cleaning like crazy today. And I still have to clean some more in here. Rip everything apart and find out what I have, what I don't have. So these dots are kind of random, but 
I kind of have in mind, um, you know, kind of how I want the end result to be. So I'm hoping I can achieve that. Now, where it's thick, I, you really don't want any really thick spots. So when you pull your finger up, you have a little, a little um, mound in the center, kind of. And uh, on, on the other bowl, I, I went back with a little piece of sandpaper. I guess this is splattering all over. I'll just wipe it off later. Um, but yeah, I took a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of took the, the tops off. Because you don't want it too thick, like you don't want to bump, because the bump will show through the clear glaze as a as a dull spot, which you know isn't the end of the world. But um, it wouldn't be, you know, if it was on the inside of a bowl, it, it wouldn't be food safe. So, and I'm, I'm pressing, not hard, but um, I don't want, I don't want just my fingerprints on here. You know, I want an actual circle. Yeah, it's not good to leave my fingerprints all over, huh? You know, someday if I decide to rob a bank or something, I don't want my fingerprints all over these bowls, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't plan on robbing any banks anytime soon. But just in case, you know, we don't want our fingerprints out there. See, I've been cleaning, cleaning, and the dust, oh my gosh, I am not, you know, I don't know, I used to clean houses for a living, so you think I would really be a good cleaner. But, oh my gosh, we have in my pottery studio in my house. And you know what it's like. It's always dusty. I mean, oh my gosh. It's just, it's a never-ending battle. I change the furnace filters at least once a month in my house. Because if you're doing pottery in your house, it's really important that you have a good furnace filter in there. And that um, you are not breathing in all that dust. Okay, I'm going to move on to some oranges here. I'm not sure if I want... I think I'm going to mix the oranges just a little bit. So I'm going to move over my little color palette here. If I was using before. The, the kittens, I think, are sleeping. If they hear me and her talking, they may wake up and come in here. Oh my gosh. I The one is so cute. We call her Squeaky because she doesn't really meow. She just squeaks. <laughs> and she's That's Millie. Molly, she's a good meower, but, uh, but Millie, she just she just kind of squeaks. I don't know. I guess her mama didn't teach her how to meow. But they were up here. They keep trying to drink out of my my water bowl here. I have to shoo them off. And then I, I don't know if I told why, I bought a name stamp. Can you see my name on the bottom of there? I bought this nice little stamp with my name on it um, from Cre uh, Creative Cookie Cutters off of Etsy. Um, I've ordered stuff from them before, and they do a really nice, they, do a, they make a really nice um, stamp because they, they, the letters are very sharp. And um, 
and they make a real crisp stamp. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like I said, it's going to be backwards. But see how crisp that is, really? Anyway, so I had it laying here, and I, I'm almost sure I left it in the bag. But it is nowhere to be seen. So I'm assuming that a certain little kitten found it. And, you know, they like to toss things. And they probably tossed it somewhere. I was down on my hands and knees with a flashlight looking for it. I don't, I, I have no idea where, where it could be. Oh, I have found that when you have kittens, nothing is, nothing is safe. I had a cat before, but I don't remember having all these, because I wasn't doing pottery when I had the other cat. But lordy, lordy, this, this cat here, these kittens here, they are so adorable. But wow, they're busy little kittens. They are into everything. Oh, and I was cleaning their little box out. Oh, my Lord, you would think two little kittens could not stink a litter box up. It That litter box smells like a hundred sailors stuck in a submarine with sewer problems and digestive issues. Lordy, Lordy, those, those things make my eyes water. My eyes water when I'm emptying that litter box out. Oh, my gosh. So I added another litter box to make it not quite so bad. Let's see here. So this is kind of an orange mixed with a red. This isn't going to be a straight orange. I love mixing the colors. Um, these oranges, this bright orange is a bright orange. I mean, that's the name of it. But the other oranges are just oranges that I that I made. So there's really not a name for them. So this is one of those things where you can, you know, you can make it, you can paint the stuff on here and then you can just kind of come back you know set it aside then come back later and keep adding to it too you don't have to finish it all one day I just filled up my tray today so it's all nice and pretty with all the colors looking too bad. I'm not sure if I, how much um, white I want showing. Looks kind of, kind of reminds me of a gumball machine, doesn't it? Now the watercolor that I saw, the colors in the center, they're all muted, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure I want to do that because I'm afraid trying to mute these, like, you know, water them down. Um, Oh, I don't know. With so many different colors, I'm afraid it'll turn out kind of muddy. <clears throat> so let's go, let's do some let's do some yellow, but let's mix a little yellow with this orange, so it's not just a plain yellow. Is everybody doing shows? Getting in some art shares. I hardly am in any this year. It's just been a weird year for me. This whole, like I said, this bathroom thing and taking care of that. And I don't know. It's so I've been hardly, I've been in hardly any this year. I've only been in about four. So I've got all this pottery I've got to sell. I know, I, sh I need to put some on my Etsy shop. I'm really bad about that. I 
think was I think after this show that I'm doing on December seventh, it is it's at a country club. So I think I think the only people who can go to it are people who have a membership there, which is kind of a bummer because it's really not a very not a very big show. It's just kind of like a ladies' night out thing, I think. But the people there are very nice, and uh, it's a it's an easy show, kind of a fun fun show to do. They feed me free plate of food. Yeah, that's always good. <laughs> you can't get to me through my stomach. I do like to eat, especially sweets. Oh, I'm always I'm always nibbling on sweets. Can't help it. I can't help it. I have a sweet tooth. Okay. I just made the best peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies. Oh my gosh, those things are good. Yum. I use GR Deli dark chocolate and then some um, semi, semi, semi chocolates. Oh, I hear my doggy. Uh, some semi dark chocolates and, um, and I'm gonna use, now this is chartreuse. So I'm gonna put a little chartreuse over here and I'll mix a little bit of that with the yellow. Um, I think I'm liking this bowl better than the other one I did. I hear my doggy in there, Archie, whining to get in to see his daddy. My husband, not not his real daddy. His Ernie was his real daddy, who passed away. I guess it's been a couple months ago now. We lost two dogs a couple months ago, and I guess it's been about three months now. September, October, November, yeah, because we lost Sophie or Brittany while I was in the middle of the um, Vienna Galette Festival. That was that was awful, awful, awful. Chris, <laughs> that's my son, Chris. Will you please let Archie in to see his daddy so he shuts the heck up? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. He does. He is. Since since we've lost those other dogs, he is turned into such a whiner. Oh my gosh. He whines about everything. So that's why we got the cats, is to help him. I'm really liking that. Um, help him get over the, the loss of his two buddies. And the cats have been really good. They go up to him and give him kisses and... But he's kind of a diva. You know, after a while, you just want to kind of kick him in the hiney. And <laughs> but, you, but we don't. We don't. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add another color. My, my favorite, one of my favorite colors. It's hard to pick a favorite color, though. When I was painting my bathroom, oh my gosh, I I painted it like a light blue, and it looked kind of like, I don't know, like a baby blue, and something about it did not appeal to me. So I painted it more of a aqua blue, and I don't know what happened. I just didn't like that either. So... I painted it again a third time. Now the third time, I just got um, um, sample bot bottles. I just painted one wall. And that was more of a gray blue. Well, then I, you know, it looked more gray than it did on the sample. So I bought a fourth quart. I think so. The fourth one I bought. I had four colors or without five. It took me like four or five colors before I decided what color I liked, which is totally ridiculous. But but you'll understand, you potters will understand. 
Um, it was called Celadon Pottery. As soon as I saw the color, I was like, the name, I'm like, that's it. That is for me. So it's called Celadon Pottery. And that's the name of the paint color by Sherwin Williams in my bathroom. I'm so indecisive when it comes to color because, you know, there's so many beautiful colors. You know. So what do you guys think about this, huh? It'll be interesting to see how it fires. I mean, once it's wet, this is pretty much how it'll look. So... Oops, whoops, I almost dipped it in the wrong, wrong one. This is Turquoise by Amico Velvet. One of my favorite color underglazes. This was hard to find for a while. Yeah, we decided because of the kittens that we were not going to put up a Christmas tree this year. So I thought it was too too risky with the cats, with the kittens. <laughs> Cuz oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know if all kittens do this, but they are in every plant. I mean, they just get in my plants and just rip the leaves off. I, they're crazy. They're crazy. And so I had to get on Google oh, and make sure the plants that I had were not poisonous. And I left, I gave some of my plants away and I left some of them outside. The, hopefully they'll, they'll probably die, but I'm hoping that maybe they'll just really go into dormancy um, and they'll come back next year. But I usually bring all my plants in and I have a huge table full of plants and but not this year. I found out too that um, aloe plants are poisonous to cats, which really surprised me. <coughs> Especially since it's kind of a medicinal plant for um, humans, you know. I think I need a little more purple. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I really like that. I think I need a little more purple up top though. Purple or red? Let's see. Um, I do have some blue in there, but I don't know if I want to add any blue. What do you think? I really like that. Now I'm just going to go back and kind of knock down these little bumps on here. I don't, um, like I said, I sanded down the other one. And I do have some flex, so you know I might. Um, hmm. I kind of like the the flex on there. I'm not sure. Hmm. Debate whether or not to, uh, um, let's see here. Ah, uh, should I do it? I guess I've got to. I gotta try it, right? Wow, well, I got me set this down. Let me set this down on something. could get out my big, I've got one of those uh, big Shimpo wheels, spinning wheels, turning wheels, what are they call them? That thing weighs like 100 pounds. Jeez, that thing's heavy. Not really 100 pounds, but it feels like it weighs 100 pounds. And uh, I hardly ever use it because, my gosh, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just so heavy. So... Ah, I don't like that. I 
have this turn. I don't know if this isn't a mistake. something in my hair. Oh, I just felt like a bug flew in my hair. <laughs> oh gosh. It wouldn't surprise me. We've got these stink bugs. These stink bugs that somehow get in the house. I don't know how they get in here. But they're like kamikaze pilots flying around the living room. And you're watching TV and all of a sudden one just lands in your hair. <laughs> oh Our house is so so kind of weird because it's it's this real modern kind of house it was a Frank Lloyd Wright um, kit house and uh, so it really shouldn't be it shouldn't have been built in the Midwest I'm not sure I'm liking this but it's too late now to stop um, but the way the roofs designed little creepy crawlers can get in there sometimes can come in through the beams because the big beams on the inside of the house go all the way to the outside of the house. <sighs> fun, fun, huh? Fun, fun. Okay, put a few yellows on here. This isn't, this isn't splattering very well. This isn't, that isn't splattering at all. Like a confetti bowl. <laughs> I, I can feel it's landing in my hair and my face. Ay, ay. Probably have it splattered all over me. A little purple, a little violet. There we go. There we go. I think that'll stand out a little bit more. Hopefully it won't be too many colors. It looks kind of muddy, but... Oh, jeez, it's all over my... I can feel it hitting me in the face. <laughs> What a mess. It's getting all over my paints, too, but oh well, right? In my eye. Good thing I got glasses on. I can feel it hitting my glasses, too. What a mess. I'm making a mess. Kind of reminds me of this. There's, um, little paint sessions when you go to the festivals and you put that paint on that plate and the spinner and it spins around and goes whoo <laughs> I kind of like that though but I'm not sure I like the splatter on my designs I might uh, hmm I might go over a few of them just just to oh I don't know you really can't cover them up because these underglazes are kind of watered down a little bit here. Like I said, you can go back, just kind of look at what you've, you know, it's good to kind of sit back and um, just kind of look at what you've painted and kind of look at the color composition. Sometimes if you're too close, um, you know, it's, it's hard to see that. I hope you guys can see it, okay? Can you see it, okay? I know, I'm not, i got to remember to talk up. But my, 
when I was when I was over, it was getting better, but I don't know, maybe I caught something else. I was teaching a pottery class to some kids, and um, this one girl was hacking and coughing, and my lord, I thought she was going to cough up a lung. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd be sick the next day, but I, I wasn't. I don't know where I got this from. I got this, I think, from my husband. And I know it's going around. Everybody's everybody's sick, aren't they? I guess the flu shot didn't. Of course, this isn't the flu, but I got the flu vaccine a few weeks ago. <coughs> so hopefully it'll help me stop me from getting the flu. My mom, who's in the nursing home, she has, they called me a couple weeks ago, and she had COVID again, and she had just gotten the booster shot, and I know the booster shots really um, are just to keep them from getting very, very sick, you know, but she, it didn't phase her much, she, they had to isolate her. Down in the basement. I call it the basement. It's felt like a basement. Um, for a week. But she she really didn't get it very bad. Okay, I know. I'm, 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 I'm probably overdoing it now. But I can't stop. Oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't know. How do I stop? How do I stop? I gotta add a few more. Hmm. I'm really tempted to. What if I add a little bit of water? I mean, not water. If I add a little bit of white to um, this violet, that'll give me just a little bit lighter color. And just. Let me add a little bit of more of a variation here, because I'm, 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 I'm wanting just, I don't know, just another little color up here maybe at the top. There we go. I think that'll do it. My fat fingers on here. I got these man hands, you know. I always say I got my my dad's hands, <laughs> but that's okay. If I got my papa's hands, I love my papa. Wish he was still around today. And make sure you don't like something. Something that I have, I'm careful of is, um, you know, when you're turning it, you you tend to put it all in a row, and you don't want to do that. So if I catch myself doing it, I go back and um, see. Look, I've got them all in a row here. So there we go. Okay. I think that's, oh man, I'll do a couple more over here. It's enough, Lisa. No, it's not enough. It's never enough, right? Never, never enough. Okay, Lisa. Okay, I'm getting weird now and I'm probably getting tired. <laughs> too much cleaning, that's what it is. It's too much dust. Too much dust. I'm really hoping to finish cleaning tonight, but I don't know. I think I'm, I gotta stop. Take the bowl away. Let's get that, oh, here it is. So there's the bowl. 
I'm trying to smash down some of these bumps that I see. Isn't that cute? So because these are wet, you're seeing how it'll pretty much turn out in, when it gets, gets out of the kiln. I think that'll be fun. Okay, so let's turn it over. Let's see if I can ride on here without ruining it. That's always a worry, isn't it? Do you put all that time in it and then get some red out of here? I like for, um, see, I said I just filled this up. So they're kind of, some of them are kind of wet. Um, I like when they dry out just a little bit. They become more concentrated. Kind of like when you buy those semi-moist underglazes. Um, those things are so expensive. So just get yourself a bead tray with fixed, they're called fixed dividers. Um, and just put your underglazes in there. Mine stay wet all the time. Um, if I know I'm not going to be underglazing for months, um, I'll just spray some water in there. And then by the time I come back, it's all evaporated. And you can use it. But like I said, I like when it um, dries out just a little bit. We go. I'm going to add a little bit of um, white just to kind of, um, you know, I don't like when the paint's one dimensional. I like when there's some other colors added. I don't really want it pink though. There we go. I'm going to add a little, a little bit more red. I think I added a little too much white. Um, some people ask me, you know, the, how many coats do you put on? I do not count the layers I put on. I paint until I get the color I want, and that's it. There we go. Now, so there's a just a little heart in the bottom. Um, I gotta be careful. I'm touching this, and I'm getting probably smearing it. Okay, here it goes. I never know what to write either. I always try to look up different sayings and things, but. Never really know. Here's a nice one I found on here. Keep your faith in beautiful things. I don't know. Sometimes I just write words on here. I'm gonna shake this up really well. Now I, um, when I add water, when I, when I add underglaze to my <coughs> my Zyam applicator bottle, I add a little bit of water to it. Did I say that right? I can't think when my head's all stuffed up. Um, so this one too, I added a little bit of water to it. It was it was not coming out. It was not behaving. It was being bad. So I added a little bit of water to it. You don't want to add so much water that it's going to drip out of there, but you want to add enough water so that when you're squeezing it, it flows nicely. So. A little smear I got up there. I'll be off my fingers. So let's see here. Um, I think I always write family. Now you know I just realized the other one I printed, but I think I'm gonna write. Or maybe I shouldn't have.
that looks like oh mud. <laughs> that looks like crap. Excuse my language. Ah. And uh, see, there's family. And I know it's backwards. I know it's backwards. Look at all these emails. It's backwards. But like I said, since I use my phone, um, that's the way it is. So I think I'll write love. Cause you gotta love your family, right? Huh? Or try, try to love your family. No, I have a great family. I can't complain. I just know some people who these families aren't so, uh, I don't know, not nice, I guess. <laughs> All those dysfunctional families. <laughs> Ours were a little dysfunctional. I mean, every family's a little dysfunctional, right? Let's see, family, love, let's put hope. No, let's hope, okay. no, we'll put faith. Let's put faith. Faith. Faith in this food you're making. Faith in this potter whose handwriting sucks. Honestly, my handwriting is not that bad, but this bowl, I should have smoothed the inside down more. I wasn't thinking when I trimmed it. It's faith, hope, let's put some hope in there. Let's put peace. Peace? Peace is good. We need peace in the world, right? We definitely need peace in the world. There we go. This is kind of thick. I should have added some more water to this, but right now I'm not going to add water because once I've already been writing with it. Gosh, this is so hard to write. <laughs> Jeez. That looks terrible. I think we're just going to go with it. It's not coming out very smoothly. I miss my Zyam applicator bottle. Plus, like I said, this has kind of got ridges in it. It's not very smooth. If you're going to write on your bowl, Make sure you take a rubber rib as you're trimming it and before you're done throwing it and get rid of these get rid of these uh, bumps. Um, hope is hope. How about believe? Oh, I don't know. Believe's a long word. Hope is only four letters. Let's do hope. No, let's do food. Let's do food. This is gonna be a bowl full of food, right? That's only four letters. What can go wrong with four letters? Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's my words on there. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of, this is kind of country, like a country look, I think. And I'm just drawing lines in between. Next year, I hope to get into more shows. I gotta, I'm actually thinking about selling my horse trailer if anybody's interested. Think about buying a food truck and putting it in that. Then I don't have to back it up. Because the only one I have at the show with me is my son who's handicapped. Backing me up. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking. Although he does do a good job. He's my little buddy. He goes to all my shows with me pretty much. A 
like those those box trucks are expensive. Oh, unless you know, unless it's a hundred years old. <laughs> Had a good price on one, but it was um, 40 years old. It's like, holy moly. I can see that puppy breaking down on the way to a show. Okay, so there's the inside. I'm dying to do something to this outside. It's killing me not to put any black underliner on there. But I don't know. I think I just got to let it go. Oh, it's killing me not putting that underliner on there. Hmm. You know it's killing me, people who know me. You gotta underline everything, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a couple circles. Just a couple circles. There we go. That makes me feel feel better. I'll sleep better tonight, right? My son Christopher was in here before opening up mail. And I had forgotten that I ordered a video game for him for Christmas. And here he is opening my mail. He opens up that video game. And oh my gosh, you should have seen his face. He was <laughs> he was grinning from ear to ear. I said, You weren't supposed to open that, darn it. <laughs> I told him, I said, just forget you saw it. Forget you saw it. Put the bag on my dresser and forget you ever saw it. He just laughed. He says, I not I not forget. He said, I, I'm gonna he said, I'm gonna dream about it. <laughs> I said, Well, if you don't clean your room, you're not gonna be playing it anyway. So because that was our deal. He wasn't he was he's, he's being not punished, but I told him he's not allowed to play any video games till he cleans his room. I call his room the junkyard. He does not like to clean his room. It is a junkyard. I mean, it literally looks like a junkyard. He's one of these kids who doesn't want to get rid of anything. Okay, I gotta stop or I'll be circling up all these. Okay, so how about that? Just a few. Just a few here. Now I guess it looks okay. It's hard not to eat anymore. Oh. So anyway, that is how long we... Oh, we're almost at an hour already. Wow. So what do you think? What a fun little finger... I can't wait to see how they turn out. So like I said, I'll um, load the kiln tomorrow morning. Um, I have, I've got one more bowl to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm not going to do a finger painting on that one. The hardest part about glazing is what are you going to glaze on there? Because I always hate to glaze the same thing. Um, I always like to do different stuff. But, hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about. I'll finish. Probably just do a flower. Just do a flower. Maybe we'll do another video. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always. And if you like my videos, please um, subscribe and um, share, and that helps me out. And I don't. I don't do a whole lot of videos, so I won't bombard your email or anything or your internet. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's been fun. If you have any questions, um, I'm pretty much glued to my phone. So just um, in the comment section, let me know if you have any questions. Again, these are Amico Velvet Underglazes. Um, I think the blue one is um, a speedball. Um, I think it's, I can't remember the name of it. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh gosh, I've got so many underglazes up there. This blue is really pretty. What the heck's the name of it? Ro
royal blue. I, I can never remember the name of it. It's a really pretty blue. So I use that one on Speed Bowl. But the red, I definitely use Amigo Velvet Underglaze because the Speed Bowl stuck on me one time. So I buy the... Um, I, brought, I buy the bright red. But look at that, $53. Whew. They're, they're expensive. Very, very expensive. Anyway, um, all right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.